Let me see work okay. All right, I have the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 8 phone, and I'm going to show you real quick how I, or try to do it really quickly, how I use the Exodio, Zodo, Zudo, whatever app on my phone for my planner, for my digital planner. And uh, I'm going to show you that real quick. Anyway, you'll want to go to the Play Store and hard to do and hold this tablet and show yourself. Anyway, you'll type in the XODO up here and search and it'll pull up the Z Zodu, Zodo PDF reader and annotator. That's what you're going to want to use is that app and then you'll install it and of course I've already installed it so then I'm going to open it and it will come up to a screen. It's going to pull up all these, anything that's on your phone that looks like a PDF. It's going to try to read of course because that's what it's made to do. Then, you're going to go to the line up here, and you're going to choose, you're going to go in when you first download it and set up, you know, your Dropbox or whatever you have, and you're going to make yourself an account, of course, and uh, in this case, I have my file stored under here that I have my planner, so I'm going to go here. And I have all of mine already linked, so it might mine's I mean, it's a little easier, but anyway, and I have it in here, and I'm gonna go down here to it. So it is this one right here. Okay, and you can either look at it like this or you can turn it around, whichever way is easier for you. Um this is your toolbar. You know, the text and the highlight and the underline and the sticky note tool and signature tool, of course, and a pen and a free text tool, the pan tool, which is probably the handiest one. And with that, you can, whoopsie. angle and from here or so anyway <laughs> let me get my stuff together here and we'll be okay we're supposed to be able to touch that and then I want this tool undo that now and close the toolbar back up then I could choose the pen tool again, and then I can go here and write, and I could name it whatever I want. You'll have to excuse my handwriting because I'm trying to write while looking through a video. And uh, so, I mean, you can do lots of other things. You can just close the toolbar back. Then, in order, you don't have to leave it like this, actually. You can turn it this way, too, and it's a little bit easier to look at. And so then, if you want to scroll, it's easier to use your finger than the the uh, stylus in this case, or, you know, the pen that comes with it, the S Pen in this case. Um, I did go in and I like to use the, uh, I made the different links and stuff to where they click to different things. So over here, I'm going to click to, hold on, I have a dog that's trying to, decided she's going to bed now. If she'll stop moving the entire bed around. Um... Anyway, so you want to go in here with, with it like this, and you can change the pen color to something that you can actually see would be great, which would be, you'll choose pen, and then you'll have a choice of any of the colors you want. You can drop it down and pick, you know, whatever you want. So in this case, I'm going to choose purple, and write my name, and then you can erase it or delete it or whatever. So you can click OK, and then it's going to update itself, and then see, if I want to go to the stickers, I can go there and save my stickers for stuff if I want. You can also zoom it up to wherever you want. So in this case, we're going to go to, I'm going to say, November. This is my November month. I wish I could do this one-handed upside down, but I can't. So anyway, you're going to go over here. You can also scroll with it this way. 
I can go in and say for November I want to track my oops. I want to track my medicine. Preferably not that big though. So I would want to go on here and make it a little smaller. And then I'm gonna click the eraser. And I do like how the eraser works on here better than anything. Anyway, and so then I'm going to go in and I'm going to write whatever it is that I wanted to track. And I'm just writing on November because I don't need it right now. Um, and then you can click add or whatever you want to do to it. So you can make it back to the regular screen. You can flip over to the weeks. Zoom up on whatever. You can actually click on the day. And it'll take you to that exact day. Because that's kind of how I have this actually set up. Um, and then so from here, if I want to go in and go, let's add a photo. I want to go to my, no, I really didn't want the camera. Now I can have a picture of myself taking a picture of myself. So this is a little confusing. Let's go back out of there. Go back to where I was. <laughs> always nice when you mess up when you're trying to record something for somebody. Okay, yeah. This is what I get for trying to do stuff late at night when my phone's tired. And my brain. Anyway. <laughs> get off there. So say on this day I wanted to add a photo, I'm going to go photo, and I'm going to say from the gallery, and then I have all these choices of, you know, different photos I could add, and if you're like me, your phone probably has 10 million of them on it, so I'm going to go right here, and hopefully there's nothing too crazy on here. This is the picture of my pug that is driving me crazy right now, get off here. go and I can actually get the corners of this photo and I can actually make it bigger if I choose to so and then I can rotate it or copy it or delete it or whatever so my handwriting looks horrible because I'm reaching around something and writing this is Wednesday chewing on her bone anyway and um, the uh, one of the neatest things I think is I added this ribbon to always take you back to the index page. So then from here we can go anywhere we want to go. So like if I just want a blank dot grid page, I can go here. You see my little dots? They're tiny little dots, but they're awesome. And so then here I can just go in and say, uh, called it. Oops. This helps. I mean, I could draw whatever I want to draw on here. That's that's how that works. Um, well, I can I can go anywhere else I want to go as well. I don't have to. I mean, I can do what I want to do. Um, then, like for these weeks and stuff, I have them also linked to the week and then I have them also linked to the day so you can go look at whatever you need to look at and if you don't want to do any of that you can go back to the index page which you know can also take you back to this page and if you know you can do a couple more over there's the front of the book and like right here I added a photo on mine and so I have all sorts of stuff on here Somewhere here I have an awesomely cute picture of my grandbaby and my husband on his birthday. This app actually uploads, um, or rather re-uploads the, um, the 
see because of server error. Okay, so that's fine. We don't want that to be uh, there anyway. So I suggest you put it somewhere that's got some. But it does have some other features. You can also draw rectangles, um, and you can fill them in if you want. So all sorts of fun stuff. So I want it to be white, and then I can go back and maybe type on top of it or whatever I want to do. But anyway, that's an option. Different things you can do with it. Um, here's your eraser tool, which works because that loops you right there. And, uh, um, the rest of it's kind of pretty obvious, so, I mean, once you're done, you can just click the hand, I like the hand better than anything. Then I can move things around without worrying about writing on them. And, uh, and then like Jenny, I use this to locate us to the sticker deal and here's our index Oops. sorry <laughs> and uh, I think that's kind of everything you can go in I showed you how to add photos if you want so I mean you, you just click on it go find your photo drag it in there that's easy. Um, I showed you how to write on it. showed you how to move it around. And when you're done, you can either just click the X to, to close it out of there. Which is what it's going to do. Or you can just simply go down here and close your app and it'll go away. Um, whichever works for you. It's easy, whichever is easier. And so then the next time when you open it back up, it brings you right back to it. And uh, so well, whatever works. Hopefully that helps. If you have any other questions, just yell and I'll try to go through and see what else I can help you figure out. Thanks. Bye.